So uh, this past archery season, in the early season, I was looking for a lightweight hoodie to test out and, uh, and really looking for something that would you know, carry me through those early hot days. I ended up testing the Osio lightweight hoodie, which I have here in front of me. Um, ended up really, really liking it. I compared it to the Sitka Core lightweight hoodie. I ended up wearing this a lot. Um, it really worked out for me. I liked it a lot. But bottom line was, this video is not about the, the uh, lightweight hoodie from Osio. It's about their mid-season lineup. Um, what that lightweight hoodie did was made me say, hey, I'd really like to try out their mid-season stuff. I needed uh, kind of a change and upgrade to my mid-season stuff, and I figured it was a good time to test this stuff out. So this is not a sponsored video. Uh, they're not paying me to say that I like this stuff. Um, so understand that when I'm telling you what I like about this stuff, I'm also going to tell you what I don't like about this stuff. But I ended up uh, running all this stuff a lot. What I have in front of me here is I have kind of uh, two transitions. Now on Osio's website, they tell you that uh, their mid-season lineup will take you from 60 degrees all the way down to 38 degrees. And that's a pretty broad range, but they have the clothes that kind of do it. And I think the initial stuff they have that takes you from that early season into mid-season type clothing can carry you through pretty much a large part of the season until you get into that November time frame when the temperatures start dropping on you sometimes late October. But, um, and so I tested, I had the uh, mid-weight pants. I had the, uh, the mid-weight hoodie here. And I had their core warmth vest. Now, then I, I transitioned later on and I started running their additional gear for the mid-season into late season, which was their Sherpa line pants and the Sherpa line jacket. Now they do have Sherpa line bibs as well. I did not test the bibs, but the, the pants are set up exactly like the bibs. It's just not bibs. So I figured I'd get a good test of those. And I got the Sherpa, Sherpa line beanie and I got the, the Osio cap to set it all off. So I got all this stuff and I said, okay, I'm going to test it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw this stuff on. I'm going to talk through the pros and cons of each one of them and tell you what I liked and didn't like. But right before I do that, uh, there's one thing that, uh, that stood out to me. I was looking at the scent control for these and it really doesn't describe on the website too much. It just says that all, all of their apparel here has scent control built into it. And so I emailed him and Joe Miles, the owner of the company, actually emailed me back and he told me that they actually implement their scent control um, stuff into the, the, the thread process itself before, before they ever even um, build the pants or, or shirts or whatever out. It's in the material itself and it's embedded in it and it's not going anywhere. It's always going to be there. So I thought that that having that kind of uh, anti-odor uh, treatment built into the garments themselves was really unique and really cool. So uh, I was I really appreciative of him to, to reply to me and, and let me know that. So it's very neat. Um, but anyway, hey, my name is Mike. This is the Everyday Bow Hunter, and I am also the owner of ArcheryHunt.com. So I have a written review of this on my website as well. If you can look in the description and go and see the full write-up if you don't want to go through the whole video. But uh, now we're going to start jumping into this clo these clothes, and I'm going to uh, run through everything and, and tell you what I liked and didn't like. So I have the Osio Midweight hoodie on right now. But before I jump into that, there's a couple things that I talk about that they have that's kind of common to all. Um, so this is supposed to be bow hunter apparel built for bow hunters so it's it's built to be quiet it's built to to be flexible allow your, your movement um it's a lot it's uh, has durable water repellent uh treatments on it at the highest level um which i got to test out and um it's got the scent control built in and the higher level stuff as you get farther into the the vest and the the, the sherpa line jacket sherpa line pants and stuff they have a windproof uh, technology in them uh, in addition to the water repellency stuff so um, they have a lot of things going on with these and we'll address each one as we go through each piece but the the midweight hoodie here it really when you talk about uh, it's one of my favorite pieces it's definitely something that you can wear against the skin it's very comfortable um, very very light um, it has uh, thumb loops for when it comes to uh, to layering so you have that it's got a good half zip here that goes up pretty far and it really closes the hood and mask on you because it has the built-in mask in it, which I'll show you in a second. But it's got a range finder pocket here, which I now have my, my uh, microphone attached to. But it's got these uh, the high quality zippers um, 
and it's got uh, the uh, tape seams, which you really don't see on like a, a hoodie like this. So that that's shows you the, the quality control. And they have really have tightened up uh, the so it's uh, sewed up here in the upper arms. It's probably very difficult uh, to see, but they're sewed up to keep keep this stuff close against your arm so it's not interfering with your bow, uh, interfering with the string when you're drawing or anything like that. And so it helps you be real mobile. To, now, I wear a large in all my, my tops and I wear mediums in my bottoms. I am five foot eight, not a very tall guy, and 185 pounds. So that's kind of my weight and, and height profile. So when I have this on, I have some decent length to it here. You got a nice kangaroo pouch here um, in addition. Um, I really don't have many negative things to say about this at all. I really liked it. It is not going to take you from mid-season into late season by itself. It is it is fairly thin, but warm and comfortable. I, I have a hard time explaining. It's got the four-way stretch in it, you know, that polyester spandex combination that gives you that, that four-way stretch. So it's really got the ability to, to flex with you as you move and stuff. So there's no restrictions. Like I said, it's, it's very soft and comfortable material, very, very quiet. It's not making a sound. So that's a great thing. Um, the zipper, the half zipper here is great for letting air blow through you when you're, when you're walking to your stand. And then when you get cold in your stand, you can put the hoodie up. So Alka also has the built-in mask, which you don't have to use, but I actually really like. So, and then when you put the zipper up, I hope you can hear me, you see how high that zipper comes up and you really can cover yourself up with this. It provides you with that concealment so you don't have to wear much else. So, not bad at all. Nothing to complain about on that end. So there's only one thing I really didn't like about the Midway hoodie and it's a, it's a tiny little pet peeve thing for me. It does not have a, uh, a chest pocket on the left side. I call it a phone pocket, but I, I like having that pocket here. I mean, you have the, the range finder pocket here. It'd have been nice to have that pocket over here. Um, so that's just, just one of those small things. Overall, uh, this is one of my favorite pieces. You can wear this through most, most of the season and be comfortable. You know, you can obviously layer underneath it. Now, the, the pants, which I am not going to throw on, but I'm going to show you here completely. The pants here have the same kind of uh, zippers with uh, the tape seams on them. And the, the tape seams and quality of how the pants and uh, everything's put together. Every single one of these items has the same kind of high quality zippers. The tape seams for waterproofing, keeping that water out, the, the DWR protection. These pants with the four way stretch they have in them, um, you can literally see the stretch. So they have a different coating on these, these than, than the hoodie. So the hoodie is very, very quiet for your arm movements. These aren't quite as quiet, but the, their uh, durability that they have built into them, uh, I took these through different briars and, and other things, brushing, some busting brush and stuff, and they really held up well. They are, for a mid-season pant, they're pretty thin. You can see the, the lining here in them as far as their, the, what they're built with as far as that kind of grid fleece, not grid fleece, but that light fleece um, in there, as they call it. Um, but it's, it's really nice. The, uh, they have the two, two pockets here, your normal, normal pants pockets. Then they have a, a double pocket that sits with a ring flap over it, I call it. Sits over top, but they got two zippered pockets here that basically sit on the top of your leg. And this was not one of my favorite items because it is on the top of your leg. I do understand I would like it on the side, but the one thing that keeps it from being on the side are the, the zip vents they have here. Where you're walking in, you have that ability to open these vents up and let the air blow in there and cool you down when you're walking in. Then when you get to your stand, you can zip back up. So that's probably what's keeping those pockets on the top of your leg. Not my favorite thing. It is a double pocket. So those pockets are on top of each other on the top of your leg. So, and that's on both, both legs, as you can see. Now on the back of the pants, there is 
no no pockets on the back at all it's not a deal with breaker for me i don't really use back pockets so not a big thing for me um, as far as the bottom of the pant there's no boot zippers or anything as you can see here but like i said that four-way stretch is really nice um, it's the when i when i had these on in the rain um, based on how the material is so smooth it's a very smooth and, and comfortable material the water just basically ran off of these um, so you could tell they're freshly treated with DWR. So they really, really held up. Um, I really like the pants. I have never been a like a, a, a pants snob, but I think these pants have made me a pants snob. So I really, I really, really like the pants. Now, as I said before, I wear a medium. And the pants, and the, these pants compared to the Sherpa line pants were a little bit tighter on me. So, um, and I do kind of ride that. I'm going to have like a 34 waist, so sometimes 33, depending on the time of year. So it's, it's uh, you know, it was a little tight on me. So if you're in that in-between stage, you might want to push up to, to the large. Like I said, I'm a short guy. They had plenty of length. I did not have an issue with the length. They weren't too long for me either. So that's something to, to recognize. But the, the pants, uh, the mid-weight pants, are, are very, very nice. I, I, I love them. The... Uh, like I said, my only the only thing I'm really not not happy with is is those pockets that sit on top of your leg. If you have something in there and you're sitting, it's going to be pushing against your leg. So, not not a deal breaker for sure, but it's it's just something to consider. Um, then what you have, let me zip this up, is is the core warmth vest as it's called. Now this is a a waterproof vest. Uh, I'm sorry, a windproof vest. This is a windproof vest. Um, it's got a very a soft shell on it, uh, sh a soft uh, outer fleece to, to kind of keep that quietness. It's not super, super quiet, but when you're moving around, it's it's really not noisy at all, especially when, when I was wearing it in the stand. Um, the one thing about it, it's um, as far as keeping you warm in that mid, early to mid season, it is fantastic for keeping you warm. It really, really takes the chill off and it keeps your arms free. Um, you can see the inner lining of this. And the one thing I did not mention that's on here that is the, is the, uh, the pass-through for your safety harness. This also has it back here, has a safety harness port on the uh, on the midweight hoodie, which you really don't see on, on a hoodie like this. So that's that's very different. Okay, back to the core warmth vest. As I talked about before, everything it has the tape seams. You can really see the tape seams here. It's got two two pockets here. Um, it's got the range finder pocket like we talked about the other one. Um, this is gonna take you uh, in that in that early to mid season you know, range. You know, it depends on your, your threshold for cold, you know, down to that 50 degree range. It might even take you down to 40 degrees, depending on how mobile you are. If you're sitting in 40 for a long time with this on, you might get a little chilly and start wanting something else on top of you. But um, as I show you here, I put it on. As I talked about in the layering system for Osio, the goal is to layer this on top of the mid-weight hoodie. You still have that ability to pull your bow back. It's still quiet. It's keeping you warm, that windproof and the water repellency from the DWR protection. Um, it's got the high collar on it if you want it to keep that air out and that windproofing, keep the protection. Obviously you can take out, I have never worn a vest before I, before I tested this. And I really don't know if I'm ever gonna hunt without a vest because I like to have my arms free for as much of the season as I can. I'm not, you know, I don't like wearing, wearing jackets when I'm hunting if I, if I can help it. So the longer I can go in the season without a, a full jacket on, the better. And this really helped out. I, I carried this in numerous times and put it on after I was at the stand and up in the tree a little bit, pulled it out of my pack and put it on. Um, it's not super packable that, you know, it, but it, it packs decent. Um, it, like I said, it has that safety harness port in the back. Now I did a lot of saddle hunting with this and I got caught in the rain with this and, and really got caught in a downpour. I had to walk a mile and a half down off the mountain to the back, of, uh, to back to my car and it, it held up. And Crazy. Still pouring on me here, but see inside here dry 100 percent dry i'm gonna expect it it's doing a great job had the strip aligned jacket on my my back 
and uh, checked it out in the downpour. Dry. So at least uh, at least they're holding up. That's that's good news. Good product test. And when I got done, I opened it up and inside was bone dry. I was bone dry. I was warm. I never thought about, oh, I'm, I'm miserable and cold, even though the temperatures were in that 40, you know, high 30s, uh, 40 degree range. So it really held up well. As you can see, you know, here my microphone's sitting right here. You're not getting a bunch of noise off of that moving around. So it's, it's, it's great with that. The wind res the windproofing in it is, is really solid. It does have, like I said, the tape seams are everywhere of this, but it also has where you can cinch down here. You can cinch down and seal the wind out down at the bottom of, <coughs> of the, the vest itself too. So that's really, really nice. So that along with those there's mid-weight pants. You can obviously layer under these pants, which I actually did uh, with a with a light merino base layer underneath here. Uh, did great with that, and this took me a long way through the season with this this current lineup, and I, I really really like it. As far as the core warmth vest negatives, I only had one negative. One. Um, it's still in that mid-season temperature range. So they're not lying to you on the website. Uh, you know, you're, you're in that 38 to 60 degree range with this. You're not taking this down into, into the 20s. Although I'm sure there's some people that can that have a high tolerance for cold. But um, as far as this goes, it also does not have that pocket here in the left breast pocket that I, I call the phone pocket. But it doesn't have the pocket here. It has the rangefinder pocket here, same size, basically a little bit bigger, maybe even on the core warmth vest than it is on the hoodie. So it's a nice pocket there. But it doesn't have the pocket over here, which I wish it would have. It has the, the two pockets right here, which are, are nice and big normal pockets. So that's nice. Uh, overall, uh, I give it an A+. Plus. I would definitely recommend this early season portion of the lineup. But then I graduated. I know things got colder and I moved into the second half of the season and started layering up with, uh, with the next layers here. And that is the Sherpa line pants and the Sherpa line jacket. Now, like I just talked about with all these other items, they have the, 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 the tape seams with every zippered area on them. The pants uh, set up with the pockets are identical to the mid season pants. So you have the same exact zippers here, the same pocket set up, the same double pocket set up in the front with the, the uh, pulled up with the rain flap here that you can put over that protects the pockets. Now the Sherpa line pants have that kind of soft, uh, quiet type fleece top that the, uh, the core weight hoodie has, I mean, sorry, the core warmth vest has. And um, so it has that same kind of quietness. They really held up. I busted through a lot of brush with these um, late season, getting through some areas that I, never, I wasn't able to get through before. And they really, really held up well. There's some light jagger marks that I don't even think would be picked up on the, on the camera here that I went through. So they held up really well. The, when they say Sherpa lined, you can see the Sherpa lining here. You can see here in the pants as well. It is is definitely these are definitely warm. Um, I'm used to using like a, a thin pant like this and putting a uh, uh, a base layer underneath it, a heavy base layer to keep me warm when things get really cold. Um, and I'm not used to really using insulated pants. I use these without a base layer in that 40 degree range, uh, and it held up nice. I, I, I basically was doing some uh, ground hunting and I was on the ground for a while uh, sitting in these and held up very well. Did not bother me at all. Very, very warm. These pants are, are extremely warm. I had a base layer well, used with them down into the uh, the lower 20s and held up very well for me as well. These are like I said before, these are windproof, have the highest level of DWR protection, the scent control, all that stuff that we talked about. <clears throat> they don't have any back pockets as we talked about before too, um, and are are pretty quiet considering that windproofing's in there and that windproofing can, you know, cause a little, that wind, windproof layer in there can cause some sound sometimes. But as I'm just banging this up and down and my microphone's here, it's not really making a lot of sound. So they're pretty quiet and, uh, 
and very nice pants. Uh, and as they fit on me, with uh, in comparison to the mid weight pants, they had more room. Definitely had room for me in that medium to put that base layer on underneath. So did not have any issues. Oh, and I almost forgot the. Uh, they also have, the, like I said, with the other ones, they had the side zip vents and the zip vents here. I use the heck out of because I do those long walks to my spot uh, going up uh, pretty steep terrain and it was nice to be able to vent out and then once I get to my stand zip up and and get that um, that warmth sealed in so the Sherpa line pants are excellent um, I think the pants take you down into the 20s for sure if you're if you're uh, using a base layer you can definitely do that um, Definitely that, that 40 degree range, 38 degree range they have on their website. You wear those by themselves, you're going to be fine. They're definitely warm. The Sherpa line jacket, same as the, the Core Warmth Vest, has the, the uh, safety harness pass through we talked about. Has the same kind of uh, uh, that micro fleece layer on the outside as the Core Warmth Vest does. It's the same thing. The, the wrists here, they have some reinforcement and to keep it tight against you to keep the wind out. Um, see the Sherpa lining, very nice, all the tape seams as I talked about before, everything else, and it's meant to layer, and as you can see here, it's meant to layer over the core warmth vest, but you can obviously wear this, this jacket by itself and carry you through most of the season. It's, it's thin, it's not super thick, so you have a, a nice windproof highly water resistant jacket you can wear through most of the season but obviously you have the ability if you have the vest to layer on top of it and get that um, that warmth that high high collar to keep that wind out nice and it has the rangefinder pocket that we talked about before the tape seams and this one has the phone pocket I've been talking about and wanting on the other items so it has that and that's nice to have. It also has with the pockets. Know how well you can see that, but they are also Sherpa lined and very warm pockets. And it also has the ability to cinch down uh, to keep the wind out, just like the Core Warmth Vest does. So the 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 Sherpa lined jacket is excellent. Like I said, it keeps tight around your wrist to keep the wind out. And it's also the way they have it sewn keeps the jacket against you here so when you are drawing your bow it's not getting in the way of your bowstring and it's not as quiet as the mid-weight hoodie you know but when you have that windproofing in there that windproofing layer it's a little bit louder um, but still with that micro fleece layer it's still pretty quiet and you can hear my movements You can hear that so it's a little bit of noise so you got to be cognizant of that as far as that goes but considering who they're competing against you know they're i consider this to be kind of that that mid-tier i've i've tested some sick stuff i'm going to be testing some kuyu stuff um see how it compares to this and even some lower tier stuff to see how it compares to this but right now um this this did me pretty well this season um <clears throat> i did wear the, the the cap quite a bit i like the the Ozio camo um and I did test the Sherpa line beanie as well. Um, the one thing about the Sherpa line beanie is as I tested it, I do not have a very big head. I don't know how, you, I don't know how to say it otherwise. I don't have a big head. I have like a seven and an eighth uh, baseball cap fitted tight when I was in the military, I wore like a seven and eighth beret. Um, so I, I don't have a, a huge head. Um, this is kind of like their, their, their uh, smaller size one size fits all size and then they have a larger size if you have a head any bigger than mine at all get the bigger size because this fits snug i'm not going to put it on right now but this fits snug against my head my other complaint is while um, the windproofing in this lower section here that's seamed around here you can see the seam you can really when you wear it you can really uh, identify that the wind protection is in this this is also a windproof garment almost as also has the dwr protection obviously has the sherpa lining as i already showed you it is very warm it's excellent as far as warmth i was not thrilled with how i i have uh, uh, hearing loss from the military so i wear hearing aids and 
with my hearing aids on and this over top of my ears, I really have a hard time hearing. So uh, it was the, the wind protection is also keeping the sound from coming in. So that was the only real negative. I wasn't, uh, you know, it wasn't my favorite beanie I've ever worn, um, but um, just some things to think about um, if you want to try it out. So there you go, guys. The uh, There's the enter entire mid-season lineup. Like I said, I didn't do the bibs. The bibs and the Sherpa line pants are the same, except that you have the upper portion of the bibs that uh, gives you more warmth. So if you're a bib person, which I'm not, you can give the bibs a shot. But any one of these layering pieces, however they fit into your, your hunting plan or the area where you live, uh, if you like the camo, uh, which I said the camo is based on an owl and the Osseo, uh is a, uh, is a screech of an owl. So uh, kind of a neat branding thing there. But uh, it, as far as out in the woods against oaks and stuff, I thought this blends in very well. I really like everything. I had a few minor things that I didn't like for the whole collection. But if I had to rec make a recommendation for a bow hunter uh, to buy some excellent gear where quality control is definitely there, it's high quality, everything, a lot of attention to detail. You know, the one thing I really can't convey and, it's, and try not to make the video 100 hours long is, is the quality of these items and the attention to detail that, that's going into each one the different aspects of where it's sewn and how things are sewn together and how strong it, it feels and how durable it feels i wore all this stuff here this archery season and into the late season um some as well rifle season i, I wore a little bit and through rain and everything else but these items and they've been washed these items still seem like they're brand new so to me, that's that's a testament to quality, and uh, I think they're they're definitely Joe Miles and the gang at Osseo are doing a great job, and I can't wait to to test some more of their items. So, um, once again, I'm Mike, uh, everyday bow hunter, and uh, the owner of ArcheryHunting.com. Come back for more videos, and we'll see you next time.